Warriors General Manager Bob Myers said Friday that the team had had discussions with the White House and that it would make a decision after meeting as an organization. We intended to meet as a team at the first opportunity we had this morning to collaboratively discuss a potential visit, the team said in Saturday's statement. But those plans were done in by a tweet that President Donald Trump sent out Saturday morning, less than 24 hours after Warriors star Stephen Curry confirmed that he did not want to go to the White House, we accept that President Trump has made it clear that we are not invited, the team said in the statement. It's unclear if Trump's tweet indicated the entire Warriors team was uninvited, or if only Curry was. It's also unclear if his tweet was an official revocation, or if there was even an official invitation in the first place. The Warriors had not confirmed previously whether or not they had been invited. Myers said later on Saturday that the team heard about the withdrawal of the invitation just like everybody else did, from Trump's tweet. Head coach Steve Kerr said he was not surprised. He was going to break up with us before we could break up with him, Kerr said. Multiple NBA players blasted Trump on Twitter Saturday morning. Curry and other Warriors players, including Kevin Durant, had previously made it clear that he would not attend a visit to Trump's White House. Curry reiterated his intentions on Friday at Warriors Media Day. I don't want to go, he said bluntly. Here are longer snippets of his comments, Trump probably saw that writing, and did not fancy the optics of being turned down. So he decided to save himself the snub and take the decision out of the Warriors' hands. Here's what Draymond Green had to say about the situation, and about LeBron's comments, as Kerr said, the president made it really, really difficult for us to honor that institution.